In this lesson, we'll learn how to select input fields using the get by label and the get by placeholder method. Now, let's say we would like to select this input field. And if I go ahead and inspect it, you can see it is a input field. And it also has a label that is email address. Now you will find this pattern in almost every input field. That is, there is an input field that is this text box. And with that, you will have a corresponding label. That is what it is about. In this case, it is email address. So what we can do is find input fields based on their corresponding labels. That's what the get by label method does. So Let's go ahead and try to locate this. So we'll say email input page get by label and we'll just go ahead and pass it the label. In this case, it is email address. So we have the element located. We can just use the highlight to highlight it out. You can see it is highlighted. Similarly, we can look out for some other input field. Let's say we want to look out for this password. You can see it also has a label with password written on it. So we can similarly select the password one and highlight it. Now let's say we'd like to select other things. Let's say this is a text area and the same things work for this as well so i can do page get by label and the label is example text area you can see it's highlighted so if any input field has a label we can select it using the get by label method now, what if a input field does not have a label associated with it, like this right here? You will find some input fields with the placeholder instead of a label. In this case, of course, it is a label, but what I'm talking about is this one right here. That is, it has a placeholder that is enter email, and if I do enter something, that goes away. So we can select input fields based on their placeholders as well. So what we can do is use the page get by placeholder method. We can just give it the placeholder. In this case, it is enter email. So I can just type it out Enter email and then close the bracket and then just go ahead and call the highlight as well in one line and now you can see it gets highlighted similarly we can use it on the password field and the others here as well so that's how you can select input fields based on their labels and placeholders